friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. For today's video, we've got a stationary haul and unboxing. First up, I wanna talk about these oil-based markers from Daiso. I want to reference back to my previous video, which was my October stationary favorites. And if you missed that video, I will have it linked off in the description box below. I talked about these sticky notes that are also from Daiso. What I love about these sticky notes is that they have a very slick feel. I can best describe them as transparent film sticky notes. I did a search on Amazon and a similar sticky note came up, so I think that's what these are called. I like them because they're a little bit more durable than just a regular paper sticky note, and of course they come in a lot of fun, cute designs. The only con is that if you try to write on these with a regular gel or ballpoint pen, you're gonna get some smearing because the texture is so slick. So that's where these little guys come in. This came in a pack of five for $1.50 and they just have a cute little polar bear design on each of them. I can simply write whatever it is that I want on the sticky note, give it a few moments to dry, and then it's all good to go. I also like these because they're dual-ended, so you do have a thicker tip side as well as a finer side. There's a lot of great uses for oil-based markers much more than I'm talking about today. I know that I talk about Daiso stationery a lot on my channel but it's not available to everyone so I will do my best to find links to similar items and leave those in the description box below. Next up let's talk about these awesome pens that I received from my pen friend Daniel. Daniel, you are too sweet. Thank you so much for sending these over. Let's go ahead and talk about the Platinum Preppy first. This is a clear demonstrator fountain pen that comes in around $4. So this would have been a perfect addition to my five fountain pens under $5 video. And if you haven't seen that video, I will have it linked off in the description box below. The Platinum Preppy is just an awesome pen all around. And I think it kind of fits in the theme with the pens that I've been really enjoying, like my Mini So Clear Demonstrator Fountain Pen, as well as my Daiso Hauser Pen. Just that clear style body, I guess I really do like. The Platinum Preppy Fountain Pen is available in three nib size options. There's extra fine, fine, and medium. This one is an extra fine, and it's also available in seven different colors. This one came with a black ink cartridge. The Platinum Preppy also has this slip and seal cap, which they claim prevents it from drying out for a year or even longer. Additionally, it's also available as a sign brush marker as well as a highlighter, so I really enjoy that aspect. I am a huge fan of the cartridge system and this idea that it can transfer over to other writing implements. I think that's why I like fountain pens is because they have this like refill system that's a little bit more, I don't know, more the norm, I guess. I mean, you can do that with gel pens and stuff, but I feel like once people are done, they kind of just toss it, not knowing that they could get refills. I don't know, I digress. Speaking of cartridge systems, Daniel also sent over these high-tech point pens by Pilot, and he gave me the point five set as well as the point seven. They're all kind of mixed in here together, but they're available in four different colors each, black, blue, green, and red. It's actually a rollerball pen with a cartridge capability and it's the first of its kind so I like that aspect of it. It's similar to a fountain pen so once you're done with the ink you can replace the cartridge and it also has an ink window so you can see when it needs to be replaced. So this is part of Pilot's Be Green initiative. These pens are actually made of 71% recycled material, which I think is really awesome. It's no secret that my preference has been found in pens. You guys can tell from a lot of my recent videos that that's what I have been talking about most of the time. But I'm really excited about these rollerball pens. It's the first regular type pen that I've been excited about in a very long time and I think it's really because of that cartridge system. I think the idea that it sort of works like a fountain pen really intrigues me. So Daniel, thank you so much again for sending these over. I'm really enjoying them. I keep having moments where I am looking at all of my stationery and I think, wow, why do I have so many of this? 
in particular, I think that I have way too many highlighters, but did that stop me from purchasing these? No. I picked up these Pikachu Mild Liners from Tokyo Pen Shop. They're a limited edition run, and I really like them. <laughs> I don't know how to justify this to myself because I truly do have way too many highlighters. I mean, you guys saw that I did that full comparison with Zebra Mild Liners alongside the Miniso and Daiso dupes. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it off in the description box below. But I guess I felt even though I have these Zebra Mild Liner colors that I needed the Pikachu little motif on them. If you're unfamiliar with the Zebra Mild Liners, they are a dual-ended marker, so they have a chisel tip on one end and then a bullet tip on the other. So the card motif set includes Mild Coral Pink, Mild Lavender, Mild Gold, Mild Blue Green, and Mild Gray. And then the Pikachu motif has Mild Yellow, Mild Violet, Mild Blue Green, so that's a repeat from the last one as well as mild pink. I don't really have very much else to say about these other than I think they're really cute. Did I need them? Really excited to share with you my very first Kaveco. This is a pen that my sister, my brother-in-law, and my nephew so kindly gifted to me for my birthday. So Ate, Kuya, and Cam, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I am so excited because this is a gorgeous looking pen. This is the All Sport. When I was first browsing these pocket pens, I thought that they were going to be a little bit more robust, like have a, a little bit more girth, but they are really very petite. When it's capped, it's 4.1 inches long, and then when it's posted, it is 5.2. It's made out of solid aluminum, and it has a chrome-plated steel nib with an iridium tip. It also comes with one blue ink cartridge, and then of course, this really nice tin that you can use to store your pen in. I decided that on Fountain Pen Day, which was also my birthday, that I would go ahead and treat myself to a gallon leather pen case. It just came in the mail yesterday. I haven't even opened it yet. I've wanted to open it with you guys. It comes in a really sturdy and nicely decorated box. I really like their aesthetic. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful! I picked up their limited edition run of navy blue. It smells so good, you know that leather smell? So I liked that it comes with this really large zipper and then it has these sort of velvet feeling flaps and then the elastic holds five pens on this side and five pens on this side for a total of 10. I did decide to get it monogrammed, so it says Dev on the bottom right corner. I am just so excited because I just opened this for the first time and it just feels so nice and ooh, so excited. Let me know what stationary goodies you guys have picked up recently in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of my videos. For more pen and paper goodness, you guys can connect with me over on Instagram. My username is at Devin Liu with two N's and two U's. I do my best to upload here every Thursday evening, so please take care until then. Feel free to check out these two videos here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.